Welcome to Sonoma Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about the Pasquale Pizza and Wings logo. No one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man. Yes, he so right when all the craziness started to happen around March, uh, Chuck E. Cheese was forced to close their doors along with everyone else. So they kind of pivoted into delivery and they came up with this alias called Pasquale's Pizza and Wings. Pasquale's is based on a character from the original lineup of characters that Chuck E. Cheese came up with and that's kind of where they got the name from. It was funny because people would see this Pasquale's come up in like Grubhub and Seamless and the, all their delivery apps and they'd be like, what is this? Um, or then they had no idea who, the, who these people were. So they were eventually found out and they fessed up to it. So their whole thing with this concept is that it's more of a premium product. So they're using better ingredients uh, and all that, all that nonsense. I'm not sure if that's actually true because I feel like it's coming from the same kitchen. So I don't know, it's questionable. And that's shade. When this information came out, the logo that they were using for Pasquale's was this pink, um, slice of pizza. It looked very modern, looked very like hip and cool and Chuck E. Cheese-ish. Is that a word? I don't know. But and I was like, okay, that's an interesting logo. I'm always looking at that kind of stuff anyway, so I'm like, all right. So I went back to their website and I was curious about um, Pasquale's and I don't know, or, or I came across it or something. I don't know how, how, how it happened, but I came across their logo and it turned into this. <clears throat> which I was like, what happened to their cool logo? Uh, I do not like this logo at all. I think it looks very generic. It looks very cut and paste. The little piece of slice with the shape, it's very clip arty to me. The font that they used is a super generic, super, it's just not, a, I don't know. I just, I do not like it at all. And I'm surprised that Chuck E. Cheese would come out with a with a logo like that because they're Chuck E. Cheese, they're fun, they're like <clears throat> very bubbly and and I understand this is like they're supposed to be like a higher end and it's supposed to be a separate like offshoot of Chuck E. Cheese but <clears throat> I don't know it just didn't feel like they put a lot of effort into it and it bums me out so much because it's Chuck E. Cheese and they could they could Put a little more money into this branding, I guess. Uh, although they did, they did just file for bankruptcy recently, so maybe that's why. I don't know. <clears throat> so anyway, I went online because I was like, I was curious about Pasquale. There are other Pasquale pizza places around the country, so I was like, let me see if I can find some other Pasquale pizza places with better logos. Lo and behold, I did. Uh, these are just four of them, so here we go. So this first logo is from Pasquale's Pizza and Pasta. They're based in Ohio. Um, I just like it's a very simple logo. I like the roundness of it. Um, it's not the best logo, but it's still better than Pasquale's. The next logo is Pasquale's Newport. They're based in Kentucky. Um, I like how the logo is very... Um, circular and very mobile friendly, which is important. Uh, although the, the character drawing in the center is, is a little iffy, but it still has some character. So again, better than Pasquale's. So the next logo is Pasquale's Pizzeria. They are based in PA, Wilmerding, Pennsylvania. Wilmerding, I, it's such an amazing name. I just had to say it twice. So this logo, I love the, the graphic element of it. Um, not the best again, but better than Pasquale's. And the last logo is Pasquale's Pizzeria, based in Iowa. And I like the little character drawing. It gives it a little character. It gives it character. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, better than Pasquale's. So I'd love to know what you think about the logo. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you not care? Are you just there for the pizza? Um, comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, also, let me know if you want me to take a stab at redesigning the logo because I definitely could do, do a better job 
um, of a logo. And yeah, so as always, uh, thank you for watching and hit that like button if you like this type of content. And don't forget to subscribe, most importantly. And until next time, ciao for now.